special. I'm the brand Get Bomb Shell. And today I'm going to do um, an amazing review on Karen's Body Beautiful. Um, now I had to do this this morning. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I had to show y'all my results this morning. I washed my hair out last night for my um, straight look. And you know, I wasn't expecting to get what I have today that y'all see right now. I was more, you know, I had it pulled, my hair pulled back in the ponytail and that was that. But it's more than when I took my ponytail out and just shook my hair a little bit. I got these great results from Karen's Body Beautiful. I mean, my hair is, is really fluffy, really, really soft, no frizz. And if y'all have been following me, and I've told y'all in a couple of my natural videos how this side of my hair has no curl pattern, I actually, if y'all can see, I got a wave going on. And that is amazing. Now, the products that I use to get this look, and this video is going to be short and sweet, y'all. Um, and I'll show you the whole line because I bought almost everything that she had. I use the shampoo and conditioner, and I'm going to give you my um, opinions on each product as I go along. Y'all can see that, I hope. I use that. I also used her, or their, I should say, Karen's Body Beautiful um, Luscious Locks Hair Mask. And actually, some is leaking out. Y'all can see the Luscious Lock Hair Mask. And I've used the Sweet Amorosa. Oh, I'm sorry, Ambrosia. What am I thinking about, y'all? Amorosa. <laughs> Sweet Ambrosia or Hair Milk. And I used Butter Love. Yeah, I see that. Okay, that's why I've used Butter Love. Okay, so, guys, my hair is like... I like big hair. It's really big, and I'm going to show y'all the results, and then I'm going to go um, through each product that I use, I guess, to get this look. So, I'm going to show y'all on one side, show you the other side, and I have one um, one comment about why is one, of my, one side shorter than the other. Well, my hair is the same length, um, just this side curled way tighter, and this side is more looser. So I'm going to show y'all the bag. And you can see how tight my hair curls in the bag. Nice, fluffy, big, tight curls. Okay. So, the shampoo. Let me pull that out for y'all. Alright. And the shampoo is 97% plus natural. No parabens, no mineral oils, no sulfates, and no animal testing. Now, I think the product in here, because I don't really like the shampoo on my hair. I didn't like how it felt when I finished washing it. It felt like something was on top of my hair. It felt really waxy. And when I read the ingredients, and I'll read it to y'all, purified water, um, coconut, olive, jojoba, and vegetable oils, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera, echinacea, nettle, and horsetail extract, um, what is that? Pro V or vitamin E? And I think what it is, and I'm not sure, it could be the oils or maybe the glycerin. I'm not sure. But something just did not work right on my hair. Now it lathers really well. I must say that. But it just felt like something was on top of it. So I ended up rewashing my hair with um my favorite Shea Moisture um, shampoo. So I washed all that out. So I don't think I will be buying the shampoo again. And after that, I use the Luscious Locks. And this stuff is like really, really creamy. So I ended up, it's like almost soupy creamy. And I'm not sure if y'all can see what that looks like. But I need this in the refrigerator. I don't know. I thought it would kind of solidify a little bit, but it doesn't. It's really creamy. Um, so I let that 
set in my hair and it works right away y'all like as soon as I put it in I could comb right through my hair and I was like wow this is really nice so I let that sit for about 20 minutes and I rinse it out now it says after you use the um the mask you can style hair as usual I went ahead and put in where is it the complete conditioner let me turn around so y'all can see it better and I'm using this and this too, 97% natural, no parabens, mineral oils, sulfates. And in this, um, it has basically the same ingredients um, in this as it does in the shampoo. This one just have um, natural enzymes in it. And then the way that they, I guess, place the product in here is different. But I put this in here and rinse that out just let that sit for a second and rinse it out all right so when my hair was you know it was still wet i um dried it a little bit with um when i didn't really dry just wrung it out i put in the sweet ambrosia now i really like this and i should tell y'all what fragrances i picked okay for the shampoo and conditioner i picked the um what's the creamy cocoa mango y'all see that Coco Mango for the shampoo and conditioner. I like the smell. Let me see. It's, it's okay. I probably won't pick that smell again though. But And then for the hair milk. If y'all can see. The Coco Lime. And I like this because I like anything Coco Lime. And it smells good. And then my Butter Love. I picked the chamomile sage and this smells amazing oh it smells so good so I, I definitely will be using chamomile sage a lot and I love cocoa lime um but back to this okay so I put this in my hair when it was wet and then I put this on top of it now I know in the instructions on their website it said that the butter love or the creamy delicious might not work well in wet hair but it seemed to do okay and then I know a lot of people say this is much heavier than um than the creamy delicious and I'll show y'all the difference I did not use creamy delicious in this by the way I just use this in this this is what the let me get some of this hair out of here this is what the butter love look like it's more like thick. I can see. Kind of thick. And the creamy licious is more whipped. And I'll show y'all that. If y'all can tell the difference. This is more like a whipped, like foamy whipped. I've normally used this on my hair when it's dry. And this one is in the fragrance. Y'all can see. Honey oatmeal. And this is what I got. Now, I'm going to say this. I haven't, out of all the products that I've reviewed so far, I have not gotten these results. Because my hair does not feel like there's any product in it whatsoever. Whatsoever. And the funny thing was, was when I was in the shower, and after I rinsed out the um, condition, I mean the hair mask, and I put my hair back. Normally when I wash my hair, my hair is so thick. It's like thick, but when I washed the, um, the treatment out, and I put my hair back in the ponytail, it was so soft and smooth. It was amazing. That's all I can say. So I will say this. Karen's Body Beautiful KBB will be a staple. Now, I will not buy the shampoo again, and I might not buy the conditioner, um, but I will continue to buy the hair mask, the hair milk, and the, the butter and the cream. I definitely will buy that, hands down. That is going to stay in my collection out of everything else that I use, along with my Shea Moisture, because I love Shea Moisture. But Karen's Body Beautiful is like my, I would say right now, it's like a tie for number one with Shea Moisture. And I would say number two, I don't know yet. 
and I had to try some more stuff. I did buy some, um, let me see, when I went shopping last, I did buy some, um, what is it, Kinky Curly. So I have not tried Kinky Curly. I have used the shampoo, um, and I like it. I do like it. So I'm going to use the entire line together to see what results I come out with. And I said I was going to keep this quick, did not, but I'm just talking and rambling on. But we all see my results. So tell me what y'all think about this, y'all. Because I love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, I love my hair. And I didn't even mean for it to come out like this. I was going to wear a ponytail and put my hair in a bun and go to work. But no, I'm going to, I'm going to rock, I'm going to rock the curls. I'm going to rock this today. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, hit me up and let me know. Okay, guys. See y'all soon. I love you.